I'm Davey. I'm awesome. And welcome to the comment corner where you guys make comments on my videos and I respond every week. And in between, respond to your comments. An American, a Frenchman, a Spaniard, and a German were all in a Zoom meeting with their supervisor. When he asked, can everybody see me? They responded, yes, we see ya. <laughs> so kick it off this week with last week's comment corner, Leprechaun Dad Jokes. My brother Josh, the film bestie, kicked it off with, I am stroking my chin beard in haughty derision as I judge the video both shallow and pedantic. I guess you won the children's edition of Trivial Pursuit. Then the film bestie commented, Whoa, Mean Girls has a musical? I'm so there, dude. Get out of my way! But you don't like musicals. Then Daniel DeLeon69 commented, Hey Davey, how do you hire a leprechaun for St. Patrick's Day? Put him on a ladder. <laughs> then Jay McCool commented, You know why the leprechaun couldn't pay his bar tab? He was a little short. <laughs> then Jay McCool commented, Was his Jay Spud comment taking something from Austin Powers? Yeah, probably. Then Jay McCool commented, I did go and see Brain Damage on Tubi. It was so terribly awesome. Perfect way to describe it. Terribly awesome. You know what mermaids wash their fins with? Tide. <laughs> then in my Davies Awesome Stories, The OCD, where I talked about torching my wife and brother because they like things so neat and tidy. My brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, Stop it! Stop eating that Snickers like that! Wait till you come over. Then the film bestie commented, you make fun of your wife for being normal and rational? Stop demonstrating the wrong way to eat candy! I can demonstrate the wrong way to cut pie if you'd like. Uh, uh, uh. Then the film bestie commented, You're a monster! I will have my revenge! From this day forth, I shall be one of the knights that say, Nee! Nee! Run away! Then Daniel DeLeon69 commented, Not gonna lie to you, Davey, but I actually thought that story was pretty funny. Well, thank you for your honesty. Very edgy. Then Jay McCool commented, My mom is like this. I like to cut a piece of cake out of the middle just to get a reaction. <coughs> I would do that, but that's so much effort. Plus, I know I would just mess up the entire cake, and I still want the cake to be edible. When I was young, I was very poor. And after years of struggle, I'm no longer young. <laughs> <laughs> then on my Davies Awesome Wrestling where I reviewed TNA Sacrifice 2024 Paul Jetto commented I was glad the system won I'm not big on ABC I like them but I will admit it's getting stale they need to either change it up or split back up and go singles then Paul Jetto commented I like TNA now but miss them from back in the older days what do you think? depends on which older days we're talking about if we're talking about like the Asylum days I barely watched any of that. Basically, I watched a couple of those because they were pay-per-views when a friend would invite me over to watch them. And then, of course, later I saw some of that stuff that was uploaded on YouTube or something. But I was never going to order a pay-per-view, even if it was only $10 just for TNA. When we get into their early Spike TV days, yeah, I, I kind of miss some of that. I miss watching guys like AJ Styles and Frankie Kazarian coming up through the ranks and making a name for themselves, guys like Samoan Joe and whatnot. But basically, once Hogan and Bischoff came in, it turned into crap and stayed crap until a couple of years ago. Now it's not really crap, it's just not great. Then Jay McCool commented, TNA Sacrifice was a decent show. Definitely worth watching. Nothing wrong with it. It was a good show. It just wasn't fantastic. You know what you call a cow with only two legs? Lean beef. That's funny. <laughs> if it has no legs, it's ground beef. <laughs> then on my Davies Awesome Movies, where in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I did the sequel to the one I did last year, Leprechaun 2. Richard Daly started it off with... I get it. Then you must like Seinfeld. Then Daniel DeLeon69 commented, Even though Leprechaun 2 was bad, I still enjoyed watching it overall. Well, let's face it, none of the Leprechaun movies were good. They're just entertaining. Well, most of them. Then, 
Jace, bud. Did you post this for St. Patrick's Day? The most evil of all holidays? I spent this day with nunchucks and tracksuit. It was awful. First they gorged themselves on green beer and expensive peanuts. From Donald General. Two dollars a bag. What a ripoff. Then they made me dress up like a leprechaun and dance to both Baby Shark and William Shatner's rendition of the song Twilight Zone by Golden Earring, all while throwing shamrock cookies and stale popcorn at me. They called me Borwick Davis. When the night came to near fatal end for tracksuit's bearded dragon who almost overdosed on whiskey-filled jelly donuts, Nunchucks decided it was time to get tender and have intimacy next to her sleeping grandparents. Nothing fills me with more dread than when she takes off her Hell's Angels moo-moo and tells me the floor is lava, right before subjecting me to a tawdry evening of Hydra valuables complete with moans mixed with pleas for a merciful end. She fell asleep clutching her strawberry shortcake switchblade and humming the theme from M.A.S.H., and I laid awake to the sounds of snickering homeless people outside. Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, stopped pretending to be this ridiculousness and commented, My favorite was the fourth one. It's so bad and cringy that I couldn't hate it. But this one was fun. Love me some Siobhan Durkin. Durkin, 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 fuck. Okay. I don't know anything else she's been in. Nor do I care. Then the film bestie commented, How dare you use media to tell us to read? I'm sorry, Josh. Forgive me for suggesting that people read books. Then my brother Josh the film bestie commented, I buy girls chili dogs all the time. I end up eating them on the way. It's hard not to. That's why my wife doesn't send me out for chili dogs, because I won't come back with them. Then the film bestie commented, Jennifer Aniston wasn't in this one. That's why it was an incorrect comment. We don't care if you get it. Then Jay McCool commented, Does he think Andy Kaufman wrote that on the wall? No. The short, simple answer to that is because he rented Leprechaun 2 on a whim, fell asleep, and woke up right at the moment where on the wall it says Andy Kaufman lives, that because Andy Kaufman was into meditation and stuff, he must have been somewhere meditating and projecting to Bob Zamuda that not only should he rent Leprechaun 2, but meditated him to sleep and meditated him awake while that was on the wall. And even more convinced because the director, when he was making all the graffiti all over that set bathroom, has no idea why he decided of all things to write Andy Kaufman Lives. He has some legitimate reasons for thinking Andy Kaufman is alive, but but sorry, that wasn't one of them. Then Jay McCool commented, You should review the Wishmaster movies. Maybe. Then Jay McCool commented, My favorite Leprechaun movie is in The Hood. I love the Leprechaun rap. Not gonna lie, Warwick Davis got skills. There seems to be a growing problem with dwarfism. <laughs> So there you have it, that's Comic Corner this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications for when I post videos, and leave a comment of your own to be in next week's Comic Corner. Bye, guys.